Hey everybody, hope everyone is well. It's uh, Saturday morning, just taking my kid to a football tournament. So I've got an hour or two before he says he starts his game start. So I just came to a local area where they have these pretty pink purple weeds that sort of spring up this time of year. And they really attract all sorts of quite large insects like bees, butterflies, wasps, different types of bees and wasps. Some of them are huge, about the size of my finger. And I love taking pictures of them. They make a very attractive picture with the pink, um, with the big bee or wasp. And then I'm trying to use the background, the bits of green and yellow in the background. So I'm always moving. I want that clear background so I can really highlight the subject. So I want to get this video. I've actually done two pretty similar videos recently. I did one on hummingbird moths which are also about the size of my finger. And I also did one on just pic taking pictures of butterflies. And both days it started raining. So I didn't finish the vlog, so it was kind of wasted. So I want to get this done because the weather looks like it is changing a little bit and it might start raining again. So anyway, that's what so basically I pick out which flowers I like, which have the best backgrounds. I don't want two bunched. I kind of like individual ones with a clear background. And I'm trying to get, I'm using both teleconverter and not teleconverter with my Olympus 300 millimeter. And this kind of thing is where that lens really shines to me. Um, it's so sharp. And of course, I've got the pro capture as well. So I can almost try and do some insect in flight stuff um, where I see it land on a flower. I quickly switch it into pro capture, obviously all handheld. And maybe I might get a sharp flight shot. But um I'm using single focus point. The bird eye detection picks up the insects anyway. I don't know, I'm about a thousandth of a second, I suppose, F4. Let's see what we can get. A couple of the big black ones have charged right at me. I don't know if they were just being aggressive if I was in their flight line, but a little bit worrying. Um, yeah, I'm moving the aperture up and down and actually when the bees on the flower actually if I just use high continuous and just keep pressing when I think you can basically tell when they're about to fly it's almost easier than just using the pro capture because it's already focused on with the pro capture ideally you want to focus where it's going and that's very difficult without being a setup so I don't know which direction they're going so actually I just sort of go and just and then if I waste some shots you waste a lot of shots anyway on pro capture so obviously IS on um, I'm on 20 frames a second. I'm switching between sort of F4 and F8. Like all the photography I've been doing recently, as I said, this lens is so good for not macro, but basically when you can get quite a big insect that fills the frame. This is which is such a good lens for that. Um, as well as obviously great for bird photography, but that's one of the reasons I really, really like it. It's so small, I can sort of manoeuvre exactly where I want to go, really to manipulate the background to really get that shot I want. This kind of photography has to be handheld. Um, you couldn't use a tripod. These guys are so quick going from flower to flower. The wind's all over the place. Can you imagine just lugging a tripod? They stay on the flower literally for a matter of one or two seconds. So it's got to be handheld. You've got to have a light set up like this, small as well. And it's just so much easy to just move freely and quickly to try and get the best shot you possibly can. So yeah. Don't even attempt to do this on a tripod. For video work, I'm lazy and I probably could use a tripod, but still, you get like one second then you're moving, one second then you're moving, so I just do handheld and hope it works. So 
So this wind is proving really, really tricky. Um, but I think I've probably got enough shots in the bag, actually. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before I go, can I just ask you a small favor? Basically, about three or four months ago, I started putting affiliate links at the bottom of my videos in the description. Oh, the gray face buzzards have just come back. They've been away all summer and they've just come back. How cool. Oh, anyway, I won't get sidetracked. So yeah, I put, started putting affiliate links in my descriptions in the videos below, and I did it about four, four, four months ago. And it was a bit of an effort to get accepted. And basically you get six months for um, some activity on your affiliate links. I think you have to get several sales. Anyway, I've had next to nothing. And I had the warning email from them saying, if I don't get any action before the six months is up, they'll take it away. And apparently it's not so easy to get back. So I can ask a huge favor. There's a couple of links below the video if you want to buy anything on Amazon you basically just click on the link and it'll take you to the product that I suggest but you don't have to buy it buy I'm not expecting you at all to buy the product it just shows you how much it costs what you then do within 24 hours if you then go and do your regular shopping if you wanted to buy something on Amazon buy some toilet paper or something I then get a small commission. Now, actually, that's not what I'm asking. I'm just asking, I need just a couple of sales so they will keep my Amazon affiliate program open. So yeah, I think it might only work if you're in England and America. So if you're even not in England and America, don't worry. And I've probably messed up the links anyway, but just give it a thought. If you are wanting to buy something on Amazon that you were gonna buy anyway, it would be really helpful to me if you go through my affiliate link, I'll get a small commission, but as I said, that's not the real reason why I'm saying this. I just wanna get a couple of cells registered in the next couple of months, so they will keep my affiliate program open. Anyway, sorry for asking, but otherwise I'm gonna lose it and I might not be able to get it back. So thanks so much. Anyway, take care, see you on the next one, bye.